No, I'm like Nigerians to white people. Nigerians don't tolerate any nonsense that comes their way. And that's why there are not so many white people in Nigeria. Because they think Nigerians are, are rude people. They think the Nigerians are not polite people to work with. But that is not the case. The Nigerians don't tolerate nonsense. And every time they answer you, you will think they are fighting. They are not fighting. They are emphatic. They know what they want. You know, one thing I like about Nigerians is not about these things that you accuse them about. A Nigerian man, if he comes in here and speak, you won't doubt that this man has got confidence. So white people refer to them as being rude. Hello everybody, welcome once again to AfriPost. I believe wherever you're watching us from, you're doing great. Now, the other day, I did a very good video about Nigerians and the hate Nigerians are receiving across the world, especially from our African brothers. And I was happy about the kind of discussion that that video elicited. Because if you look at the comment section, many people were saying that it is not about hate, but it is about jealousy. Other people were saying that it's not about hating it's about disliking certain characters. And I believe that some people did not really understand the context within which I was putting this video. Because if you listened keenly to what I was saying, I tried to talk to our African brothers and say that given the state of Nigeria as it is and the kind of population that they have, it is given that Nigerians will be many across the African continent especially Nigerians in diaspora. We will have Nigerians everywhere. Because they are, first of all, I told you that they are close to 230 million people. So if a whole country, just one country can hold 230 million people, and there are other countries that just have 2 million, 1 million, they will find opportunities out there. So that is something that is there. But then again, there are those people who said that I should stop hating on Nigerians and Nigerians are people who are hardworking and no matter how much we hate on them, they will continue succeeding. I agree. In my video, I said that it is not good for us Africans to continue to stereotype all Nigerians into a specific group of bad people. Because when you have many people somewhere, as I said before, it is highly likely that you will have many bad people in them because they say that every market has a madman. So if you have a big market, automatically you might find two madmen there. But if you have a small market, you'll find maybe one madman there. So to my Nigerian brothers, I came in peace. I am not somebody hating on you. In fact, I love you and I have some Nigerian friends here. So it is not like I was hating. It's just that I came across a certain group of people or highly viral videos around the internet trying to say that Nigerians are not good people and they should go back to their country. So I was kind of putting that to sensitize people and educate them on the good things Nigerians are doing, not just in this continent, but across the world. So that is it when it comes to my stand on Nigerians. But then again, here is Julius Malema. Julius Malema is somebody who is very unique in many aspects. The kind of love that Malema has for the African person really amazes me sometimes because if you ask me he is somebody who can easily identify to be a kenyan he can easily identify to be a nigerian he can easily identify to be a namibian he can easily identify to be a moroccan because he looks at these people and sees them as their brother and from that point we must remember that africa was divided into these partitions we call countries by the european countries so that they could easily manage this continent because it was very difficult going to different regions, talking to kings, talking to kings of different kingdoms, small kingdoms. Remember how many tribes are there? Like, for instance, in one country, a country can have close to 100 tribes, and every tribe had their king, their leader. If a white person was coming to talk to almost 100 leaders differently in different languages, it was something that was going to be very difficult. So they decided to say, let us divide this continent and have it in a way that we can control it and we have its resources. Julius Malema comes out as somebody who does not believe 
that the white man can have control of the Africans. And one thing he has always called for, even in the midst of cases of xenophobia that have been said to dominate South Africa, Julius Malema has always said, stop hating on your black brother. Stop hating on your fellow African. This is your brother. This is somebody who speaks as you speak. This is somebody who breathes as you breathe. This is somebody who looks like you. So, I want you to take a listen to this video in its entirety and give me your opinion. Malema here is saying the reasons why he loves Nigerians because he has realized there are many people who hate Nigerians. So he's kind of saying when you are hating on Nigerian, you do not know why you are hating on him. Nigerian has a certain personality. That personality is not a deformity. It is not something that we are supposed to hold against them. Take a listen to what Malema was kind of saying in this video. You know, one thing I like about Nigerians is not about these things that you accuse them about. A Nigerian man, if he comes in here and speaks, you won't doubt that this man has got confidence. So white people refer to them as being rude. That's why in Nigeria you don't find a lot of white people. Because when you speak to them and they don't hear properly, yes, yes. Ah, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? And then you think he's fighting. Like No, he wants to understand. What, he's not fighting. But you... They taught you that if you don't hear, sorry, sir, can you repeat that? So they enjoy that. They enjoy this submissive attitude of a black man because to them you are boys and girls. They don't enjoy a person who speaks standing firm, looking right into their eyes and unshaken. That's what we should be. That's what we should be. We must be. And that thing comes out of liberating the mind. But if the mind becomes permanent weapon at the disposal of the oppressor, you will never do anything. You will continue to think less of yourself. We, we, you ought to liberate yourself. You cannot be EFF and still be sheepish. Once you join the EFF, it's a first step of mental liberation that I am not my ancestor. I am a generation now which will never take what my ancestors took from you. I will never tolerate that. So, they don't hate Malema. They are all shocked by this black man who can speak to them like that, who can speak like that, who can confront them like that, because all blacks must be submissive. And when they paralyze you, they even come and then patronize you. That no, you are better than them. Those of you who even speak in that accent of theirs, yo, you even speak better than them. But I always get shocked that you say you don't want this colonial people, you want to be African, but you speak like Sir Ramaphos. You can't speak like a person that you hate. You can't. You can't say, I hate these white people. They've oppressed us. They took everything from us. And then from there, you want to speak like them. Only in South Africa do we do that. You can go anywhere in the continent, including Zimbabwe, where they are educated better than us. They've got no accent. They've got Zimbabwean accent. They don't have this thing of yours because they've never seen themselves in the image of a white man. They saw themselves in the image of an African man and accepted education as a form of liberation, not as a way of mimicking the colonialist and the imperialist. Because some of you confuse being educated 
to be meaning, I must talk like these white people. Otherwise, I am not educated. So, when we speak about a liberated man, it's a man who knows who she is and who he is. But once you've got a doubt about yourself, you will never liberate anyone. Because you are not liberated yourself. If you listen to Malema, Malema is saying that he likes the way Nigerians present themselves. These people are confident. They speak in a certain way. They do not have an accent. They cannot be dominated by white man. He is saying that the Nigerians have been mentally liberated. They do not have that colonization of the mind that makes you think that if you speak like a white man, if you behave like a white man, if you have some form of etiquette and you are not rude as uh, the, the white man defines it, then that is what defines you as a good man. Malema says that Africans have been taught to hate each other. We should stop hating each other. Nigerians are good people. Nigerians are people who believe in hard work, regardless of a few who have been involved in things like scamming and other things. I say that, show me a country that does, does not have scammers. Show me one country. If you know any, show me. Do you have any country in Europe that does not have scammers? Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Do you have any country in Africa that does not have scammers? Tell me. Every country has scammers. But because of the sheer large population that Nigeria has, many of those incidences will be publicized so that people get to know what is happening there. But I will tell you, even some people who have been told stories about Nigeria, they go to Nigeria and they wonder whether this is really the country they were told that is bad, that is full of bad things and everything. It's good people. Nigerians are very vibrant in their culture. They trust and believe in their culture. Look at even the kind of dressing style that Nigerians have. They do not copy anybody. Not like in other countries, specifically in East Africa. Most East Africans do not have a standard way of dressing. Many try to copy Maasai's. Many try to copy those other uh, communities that have held on their culture. But people are different. If you look at Nigeria, we have the Yoruba, we have the Igbo. They have different customs and cultures, even dressing and the way they do their weddings. So Nigeria is a country full of lively people, full of joyous people, full of people who believe in themselves, full of people who are ready to explore the world. So let us stop hating on them. If you feel like they are taking up opportunities from our country, be creative. Be very creative. I was having a discussion yesterday evening with one of my friends. And he was telling me that, you know, the question about Africans hating Nigerians is because of the sheer laziness that some of us Africans have adopted in our minds. And we have now refused to kind of explore opportunities and be aggressive. Because a Nigerian will come to your country, see an opportunity, exploit, speak about it publicly and confidently. Just as Malema is kind of saying, Nigerians are people who are very confident and they are ready to express themselves. That has made some people misjudge them and think that they are rude, they shout, they are some people. They just speak to it and they are ready to express their emotions the way they are. So that is it about Nigerians. I believe this video settles any beef that any Nigerian could be having against me. Please, Nigerians, my brothers, subscribe to this channel because I am your supporter. I love you. And I love every African. Every African is somebody that is like my brother and my sister. If you're older, you're like my father and my mother. So I respect you as you are. And let us always call for African integration to join together and be a people who speak with one voice. That's it from me. And let's meet in our next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.